we know that we're going to be getting a bunch of live action Marvel shows for Disney Plus that take place in the MCU. And one of the speculated shows that we'll be getting is Agents of Sword because Marvel's Agents of Shield it's on its final season right now and it's actually about to air its final season. Um so then after that's over, what's going to happen to those characters? So that that's why everybody thinks we'll probably get an Agents of Sword series for Disney Plus because then it can basically be a continuation of Agents of Shield but under the supervision of Kevin Feige and in space with Nick Fury and a whole bunch of other MCU characters as well. Um but now there's a a post from 4chan um that may reveal that this is confirmed possibly. I mean, it it is a post on 4chan so we don't really know how accurate or how reliable this is um cuz it is an anonymous source basically. So, of course, do take this with a grain of salt, but it is a possibility, and I hope it actually is true, because this would be awesome. So, uh, here it is. Um, It's probably hard to read it, Um, so I'll go ahead and read it for you. So, the title says, New details about an upcoming Disney Plus Marvel show from Anonymous. Marvel Studios is currently working on the, on the CGI for an 8-episode Disney Plus series for Phase 4, with the working title being Sword, and the first episode was written by John Favreau. Leading actors Samuel L. Jackson, Kobe Smulders, Cameron Monaghan, Catherine Winnick, and Nicholas Holt. Supporting actors Paul Mendelson, Sharon Blinn, Clark Gregg, Chloe Bennett, Ming-Na Wen, Natalia Buckley, and Jeff Ward. Newcomers Cameron Monaghan will play Victor Cole as the lead protagonist who is an inhuman. And the twin sons of Thanos will be the villains played by Catherine Winnick, Supergiant, and Nicholas Holt Thane. I'm told the supporting actors will have less than five minutes of screen time in season one. So wow! That that's a lot there. There's some stuff here that makes sense. Some of it doesn't. Um, but it could. Um, so first of all, I'd say one of the big parts of it is, uh, Cameron Monaghan, and he would be, the protagonist or one of the main characters of the season, at least the first season. Now the thing I find interesting about this is that this isn't the first time that he's been brought up, when it comes to the MCU and Marvel projects because back when Spider-Man Homecoming came out um he went to the world premiere and he wore a red suit as you can see here and because he was at the Spider-Man Homecoming world premiere and he's friends with Tom Holland and he was wearing a red suit and he would be perfect casting everyone took that as confirmation that oh my god he's gonna play Carnage Cameron Monaghan is gonna play Carnage it's happening people it is hap- but no, it's not happening. We're we're getting Woody Harrelson as Carnage in Venom, Let There Be Carnage. So no, no Cameron Monaghan as Carnage. Um But we could possibly get him um as Victor Cole Kroll. Um this inhuman, if this report is accurate. Um which I definitely think would be interesting because then that would br- be bringing the, the inhumans back into the MCU. Um and it would also make sense that the main character of this Agents of Sword show is an Inhuman because the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. show, um, for a couple seasons there, they did focus on the Inhumans quite a bit. Um, now, when it comes to the Inhumans in the MCU, we had them in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., like I mentioned. Um, but then also, we, um, we of course, had the Inhumans TV series, which was trash. Um, so... We, we're we pretty sure they're going to reboot the Inhumans um, in the Ms. Marvel Disney Plus series. Um, and there's been big rumors of that, even some casting news and stuff. I've made videos about it before. Um, so w- basically, we, it's pretty much confirmed that the Inhumans are getting rebooted. And having an Inhuman as the main character on this series is a great way to introduce the Inhumans before like they get their own movie or series or something. Because, I mean... You kind of have to do that with the characters. You can't just have them sideline and have them like cameo and different stuff. Like they gotta have their own project. Um, so I think this is a great way to connect into that. But 
as for the other main characters, of course we have Nick Fury. I mean, he was the leader of S.H.I.E.L.D. when S.H.I.E.L.D. was a thing. And also, the post credit scene of Spider-Man Far From Home, when we found out that he and Maria Hill, the ones that were in the movie, were actually Skrulls, and that the real ones were up on that space station with all the Skrulls, and that's when Nick Fury was like, where are my shoes? Um, so yeah, they're, I'm pretty sure that's like the S.W.O.R.D. space station. Um, and we didn't see Maria Hill there with Nick Fury, we just saw him, but I assume she's there, because if the scroll version of her was on earth and you know she wasn't there then i don't know where she would be so i mean it also makes sense for her to be there she was like nick fury's right hand man after the after colson died which was very sad then it turned out he was alive then uh but speaking of agent phil colson um him on this show makes sense i mean he he first of all he was one of the biggest characters in the MCU until he died. Um, he was the one that brought the Avengers together. If he didn't die, then the Avengers wouldn't be a thing. The, he was the death that they needed to avenge. And we actually just saw him return to the MCU in Captain Marvel. Um, but that took place in the 90s. So, I mean, didn't really count that much. Um, and, of course, he's on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. He died on there as well. And now, in this final season of the show, he is an LMD. So... It all depends on what happens there in that show to in this final season. Depends on whether or not we'll actually get to see him in the future of the MCU. Because I hope we do. And then also, if we do, like, say that he goes on after the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. series. And he goes on and does this Agents of S.W.O.R.D. series. Then, will it be the LMD version of Phil Coulson? Or will it be the real version somehow alive again i mean i don't really know i'd be good with either although i haven't really seen much of him as the lmd so we'll have to wait and see on that but speaking of agents of shield of course i mean agents of sword basically agents of shield you've got to have some agents of shield members like daisy johnson quake probably the most requested character other than agent colson from the agents of shield uh series to come to the MCU. I mean, first of all, she has superpowers, so she could even join the Avengers if she wanted to. Um, plus, she's just so cool. I mean, she's so good at being an agent, um, and it would just make sense to have her in the MCU and in the movies. Also, May, I mean, she she was, like, one of the leaders of the team, basically, um, on the show, and it makes sense for her to be there with Coulson, um, I don't know about any other members of the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. team other than Coulson, Daisy, and May, that, according to this leak or report or whatever. Um, but that's honestly a pretty cool team up. Those are like the three main characters of that show, basically, that we would want to see in the MCU, in the movies, in the Disney Plus series, and all that stuff. So I'd love to be seeing all of this. Um, but... <sighs> This is where things get interesting and almost kind of unrealistic because they're saying, the report is saying that the villains of the series will be the children of Thanos. No, not the Black Order, the actual physical children of Thanos that somehow Thanos had sex with someone and made babies. Um, so yeah, they're saying that as twin children, um, Supergiant and Thane will be the villains of this series so apparently Catherine Winnick is going to play Supergiant um I'm a little confused about the whole Supergiant thing because I'm pretty sure in the comics uh Supergiant was definitely not Thanos' daughter and she was actually another member of the Black Order that for some reason we didn't see in an Infinity War and Endgame um but Thane uh, who's going to be played by Nicholas Holt, according to the rep report, actually is Thanos' son in the comics. So that part makes sense. I'm not sure about the super giant, but that would explain why we didn't see her with the rest of the Black Order in the previous couple movies. Um, so I think it's an interesting idea, and it would honestly kind of make sense. Because, um, like, the, the heroes of Earth just killed Thanos, their father... So then why would they not want to come back for revenge and, you know, get revenge? Uh, 
maybe they want to continue their father's goal and reach that goal. Um, but also, of course, we would have the scrolls in this series. Um, the re- report mentioned Paul Mendelssohn. Um, I think it meant to say Ben Mendelssohn because Ben Mendelssohn plays Talos. Um, I think that's what it was supposed to be, but there's, like, a lot of grammar mistakes and, like, name mistakes in this that kind of make me think this isn't really real. Um, but another huge part of this is that the report said that the supporting characters will most likely have less than five minutes of screen time in the first season. Um, so that's the only downside to this, because... The supporting characters were, like, Coulson, Daisy, May, um, and, and then the Talos. So, that, that would be kind of disappointing. Like, they, they take those characters from the Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. show and put them back into the MCU on this Ages of Sword show, but then they're only in it for five minutes in the first season. I mean, that would just be the first season, though, so they could have larger roles in other seasons of the show if it continues. Um, but, I mean, at least we would get to see them and confirm that they're part of the MCU now. Um, S.W.O.R.D. has been teased in the MCU. We've seen set photos from WandaVision, um, that show the S.W.O.R.D. logo and everything. Um, and then also the huge tease at the end of Spider-Man Far From Home postcard scene with the Skrulls and Nick Fury, like I already mentioned. Um, so, of course, we're gonna get Skrulls here, especially if we're getting Talos. Um, and... Hopefully that this brings uh, Coulson, you know, back to, I don't know. Like, I don't think, I'm not sure who knows that he's alive and who doesn't, although technically he's actually dead now. But I mean, like, when he was alive after the, uh, the Avengers movie, I wonder who knew. Like, I'm pretty sure Nick Fury and Maria Hill knew. But it'd be interesting to see, like, If the Avengers found out that he was still alive, how that would change things and stuff. And that could happen if he was back in the MCU in this show. Um, So I think this show is a great idea. I'm not sure how or when it's going to happen, um, but I hope it does. Plus, there's a new rumor that Disney and Marvel is planning to announce three or four new Disney Plus Marvel shows very soon. And recently, um, of course, we got the report that there's going to be an Ironheart series that's going to start production late next year. Um, There's possibly a Ghost Rider project that I made a video about, which would be possibly a Disney Plus series. Um, Maybe War Machine series, maybe Secret Invasion series, because that's been rumored for a while. And then, of course, this, this show could be included in that. But anyways, guys, what do you think about this report? How accurate do you think it is? And even if it's not, is this something you would like to see as a Disney Plus show as a part of the MCU? So thanks so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And hope to see you in the next video. So I bestow all Marvel knowledge upon you.